Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the gradient tool to create a gradient fill, which is a gradual blend between multiple colors. There are a few preset gradients that ship automatically with elements, and you can also create your own gradients. You create a gradient in an image by clicking and dragging within a selection or on top of a layer. The starting and ending points of the place over which you drag your mouse will impact the gradient appearance depending on which gradient style you select. So to apply a gradient fill, first select the area to which you want to apply it. Now remember that if you don't select anything, the gradient will be applied to the entire layer currently selected in the Layers panel. So let's first make a selection. We'll use our white flower here as an example. And I think we'll use the Quick Selection tool. And we'll make our selection. Now for this example, we're just going to select the white part of the flower so that we can really get a good feel for the effect of the gradient. Next, we go over into the Tools palette and select the Gradient tool right there. Then let's look up in the options bar. The first thing we have is what's called the gradient selector drop-down that you use to select which gradient preset you wish to use. You'll see we have a few different choices here, so we'll go ahead and we'll select that one. We'll close out of there by clicking the little X in the upper right hand corner. Now next you can click the edit button and that will launch the gradient editor and you use this to create your own custom gradients. We're going to be looking at that tool in the next section. So we'll cancel out of there. Now if you're using version 7.0 or earlier, you open that up instead by clicking on the gradient sample that's displayed here in the drop-down to launch the gradient editor. After we've made our selection, then you decide what type of gradient you wish to create. That's what these buttons right here are for. Remember that when you hold your mouse pointer over them, a screen tip will appear that shows you the name of the gradient. First, we have a linear gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a straight line. After that, we have a radial gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a circular pattern. Next, we have an angle gradient, which shades in a counterclockwise sweep around the starting point. Then we have reflected gradient, which shades symmetric linear gradients on either side of the starting point. And then finally, we have a diamond gradient, which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a diamond shape. And you can play around and experiment and decide what type of gradient really suits your needs we'll stick with a linear gradient. Now after selecting the gradient style you use the mode drop down here to select which blending mode you want to use for the gradient fill. And I think we'll stick with linear burn for this example. It'll give us a nice effect. After that you can set your opacity and that will again set the transparency of the entire gradient. Again you can enter a value in there or you can click on the arrow and use the slider to adjust it. Now watch what happens when we use that. As we adjust that, you look back over here, you'll see the transparency changes in this area here. And I think we'll set that at 70%. That'll give us a nice effect. Now after that, you can click the reverse checkbox if you want, located right here and then the order of the colors and the gradient will be reversed. Now to create a smoother gradient with less obvious banding between the colors you check the dither checkbox right there. So we're going to leave that checked. To use a transparency mask for the gradient fill then you check the transparency checkbox right there. We'll leave that checked. Then to apply your gradient you just click and drag from the starting point to the ending point of the gradient. Now if you want to restrict the line drawn to a 45 degree angle, you hold down the shift key as you drag out the starting and ending points. 
but it's very easy. We'll just click and drag and you'll see the effect that that gives you in your image. And if we click out of there, you'll see what a cool effect that gradient has given us. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.